All right, guys, we have the Audi SQ5 in our possession, ready to show you the whole story of what you should do to your car to make it fast. Okay, so understand the before and afters here. We're gonna be in the same temperatures and a variation, of course, will be no difference of 10 degrees of temperature and no difference of 200 density, air density, will be changing when we do these tests. If they do, I'll cancel the test. We'll wait for another day to really get that. But I'm, I already checked the weather. Everything should be nice and linear. So let's see what parts will gain the power for your 2020 Audi SQ5 3.0T. Stay tuned. Let's get it. All right, guys. So in here, we are using VehiCal. It's a phenomenal logger. You have your basics, you know, blah, 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 boost, throttle plate, ignition, timing, retard, all that stuff. Uh, I just want to show you guys. We're going to do two minute intervals of pausing here. So we're starting at 12. All right, we're going to do our first pull. This is all stock. Nothing is done here. And this is, um, you know, here's our DA. 1400 not great conditions we're in 85 degree weather right there's 85 it is horrible conditions you're not going to make good power in this weather all right start logging all the way to it shifts Three fourteen, three three seven. Okay. Okay. Power output. We're losing torque again. This is really going to be our baseline. Is our second one. So three hundred, and then four twelve. That's that's the realistic number right there. Okay. Holy shit, boys! That's cooking. It's eighty. Five Celsius and look at the torque we lost 412 dude it's hot fall that line all the way over here 85 Celsius that thing is hot here's our we already got up to 70 I'm already starting to pull boost this is crazy how hot it is let's see if we can zoom into this so as you can see that's our intake air temperatures we really need to get a front mount intercooler on here so I think the first thing I do is install a front mount um, because I want to make sure we have cold air and we need to con do consecutive pulls. We're losing power and we're not going to be able to do good data logging, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I do need to add some more information about intake air temperatures and why didn't it pull boost? You know, I did say in the video it was supposed to, but I forgot to mention that it won't pull boost because we are in documentation mode, meaning that I do not have safeties activated during this because that would skew the numbers for example if we put a front mount on i want to make sure that at, if it hits 85 celsius what power did we get with the front mount intercooler in development mode you can't have safety protections kick in because we are not wanting variables to change our output so we need to set the variables and then see if we change these parts will they add power i hope that makes sense to you guys shed some light on what's going on here. And if you also know, I'm not going to do a third pull because 85 Celsius is way too hot. I think it's not safe at all to continue pushing this engine any further. So we're going to go ahead and move into the front mount intercooler install and show you that data here. All right, guys, here we are with the front mount intercooler installed. We are about to do a pull. We're up to temperature, ready to do this thing. Okay. You know, that's our first pull. Look at the timestamp, 52. It's not gonna count because it's a nice, beautiful, we call it the glory run here. Oh, come on. So 323, 450, uh, 445. All right. All right, it's just about to be 55. Perfect, all right, here we go. Wow. It's consistent, boys. Watch this. We'll really know on the third pole here. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. Wow. Guys, here's where the real date is. 58. Okay. We are going to hit our third pull here. Let's see what the data's got to say. Guys, no lie. Front mount intercooler is where it is at. Consistent. Gosh dang, if not, I picked up four horsepower. That's amazing. We're here. So here is the okay car. Here is the data you guys want to see. So this line, obviously, you know, blah blah blah. That's the non front mount intercooler, front mount intercooler. This right here is front mount intercooler intake air temperatures. Okay? Over here's 40 Celsius. And this is 70 Celsius. That was the first pull. I mean, this is, just to let you know, this line right here is the last third run. So let me show you. Last third run. Here's the, okay, this is the last run. Let me show you the first run. Let's go see the first. That'd be nice. All right, we're still at 42 Celsius. We're starting at 44. We dropped down during the pull. And then end that, you know, it just war warms up right at the very top. We get to 38. That's just crazy good. Okay, so look at the last one right here. Look at the time because that's 221. So I literally had an hour and 30 minutes. I had that front mounted core in, and we're back on the dyno. That is beautiful, good data. So here's the last pull, guys. Look at this thing. Just crying for its life. That is 85 Celsius goodness the car is not happy at all i mean guys that's what i'm talking about look at the data we're gonna put a front mount intercooler you're wondering why should i spend all this money this is why 85 celsius is cooking it is hot you know for you americans here let me just find out what 85 celsius because i don't know why i usually times it by two so i think i say 160 to 180 that's what i do watch this 2f fahrenheit 185 Fahrenheit. That is hot. Okay. Right now we went from the, on the third pole, 185 Fahrenheit. We now went to, it was really 35 Celsius, 95. We cut it in half. Same temperature outside. It's 85 degrees. You guys saw the dash. That's the day. I'm, I know I'm hype. I don't care. This is cool data. I love this. Front mount intercooler on this car is a must. Go buy it right now. Your car will love you forever. <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and put on the inlet pipe. What do you guys think? I think we're going to gain some power. I don't know. I really don't think so. But either way, let's go find out. I'm going to show you the ending. So you guys can see the setup here. We're giving this the best chance it can ever have. It's literally open as it'll ever be. So, do you think it's gonna make more power? Let's find out. Here we are testing the IE turbo intake pipe for the 3.0 platform. So the car is pretty much warmed up, right? 81 degrees, it is dropping in temperature here. So let's go ahead and start the log, see what she's got for the first pull. I mean, I'll tell you, it sounds badass. Don't get me wrong, but this is gonna make the most horsepower it can. It's cold right now. Well, the engine had to take time to, you know, put install part. So we did not see any gain there. All right, here we are again. Let's go ahead and see if this pipe is worth it. I mean, it has a beautiful sound for the intake. I give you that, but for the amount of headache I just went through, I installed a front mount in a short amount of time, I felt like. So let's find out. Nope. We so here's the intake air temperatures with the turbo intake pipe. At the end of it, we're looking at 39 Celsius. It is colder outside by three degrees. Note that. This is the hardest part of a dyno session. 
This is also 39. So we did not change any intake air temperatures. Uh, so it's not bringing in colder air, which realistically, what is a turbo intake air supposed to do? Bring in more air, which when you bring in more air, probably bring in colder air because you're moving more air past it. We're not seeing anything of the sort. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to think, oh, this is worth it for me or not. The install was a pain in the ass. I don't like it, don't care for it. Beautiful noises, that's cool. You know, but as far as making power, the dyno is right here showing us what are we making with it. I don't see a significant amount for the price point on this. Not worth it. Front mount intercooler, day in and day out. Now stay tuned, we have the last piece to this puzzle. It is your downpipe. Here we are guys, we have the test pipe loaded up. And now we're gonna see if we can beat our numbers yesterday. And we're gonna beat them because it's first pull, but I wanna see if they can, they're consistent. So that's where we're starting at. That's our time frame. All right. Boost was uh, not knowing what to do there. So we're gonna have to do some voice gate tuning. Look at that thing, threw it right off. Took the power away for a sec. Maybe the vibration of it. 375 horsepower, that is insane gain. That was our first glory pull. So let's do another one here. Give it, uh, it's 13 right now. So let's give it two minutes here. We'll do another pull. Oh, that is a beautiful graph. Sorry, I wasn't focusing on it too much here. Let's go back. And that is a very smooth graph. The car learned it after, you know, it's like, what the heck just happened? There you go, guys. 370, 483 torque. The test pipe is working. I mean, either it's a huge restriction, because we just, I mean, we did cool the air down. We had hot temperatures. Intercooler is doing its job. Um, we went from 400, 300 horsepower to 370 horsepower. I mean, we did not change the fire at, file at all. I mean, to be truthful, I did change crackle pops to show you guys crackle pops before I did the test pipe install because I got to be straightforward with you guys. Other than that, I did not change the file. I put it right back to the same crackle pop, pop file that we run when we did all these runs. So guys, it's really straightforward. That's the data. Well guys, what do you think? That was quite the job taking on this whole project of installing a downpipe, an intercooler, a turbo intake pipe, and you know, whatever, a cold air intake, just to say I did. But with that being said, you guys got the data. Where are you going to make the power? As you can tell, get a downpipe and get a front mount intercooler. Personally, if you're a stage one guy and you're not looking to really mess with the exhaust system, just knock out the front mount intercooler and be done. I did these jobs, other than the downpipe, close to an hour. I mean, honestly, the front mount was an hour. The turbo intake, it's pushing it on the hour mark and so is the downpipe. That's about that one to one and a half of time frame you're gonna to need to install those parts. I really think the downpipe is worth it. I mean, we gained some serious power with the downpipe with doing nothing with the tune. I mean, there's nothing changed in the tune again, nothing. We installed the part, did the dyno run, same conditions, made the power. That's just a crazy gain. So a lot of people are like, oh, I gotta flash the tune before I go stage two or flash the stage two tune on really do you need to i mean the car gained the power without the tune and people say well my car is going to run funky because it's not tuned for that are you kidding me what no that is so the wrong answer it is not true at all and i am a professional tuner i could say that confidently i've taken the courses i've taken the schooling i know what i'm talking about when i tell you you do not need a tune for a high flow cat cough or a blank yeah if you install a test pipe you're gonna get a code for a cat code of course it's gone the car knows what's going on there 
Is it gonna make your car run funky? No, you know what made your car run funky? You putting an O2 spacer in there, tricking the air. Don't do that. The car knows how to know, oh, this is the oxygen coming past this. We're running lean, we're running rich. So, off that topic, you guys now know what's really gonna give you that power, and we're gonna go do a quarter mile pull in the 12 o'clock heat. You know, we really wanna hit that 75, 80, 85 degree temperature range to show you what is a quarter mile gonna do with your stage two versus a stage one. We also have stock quarter mile times as well. So you really will see what is the true potential all the way from stock to your stage two file. Well, to wrap up this whole video, I hope you enjoy the data. I really went in depth to show you, is this part worth it? Stop wasting your time, stop wasting your money. Don't get those BS parts, guys. The data's here. I got a dyno. There's no faking. I just wanna let you guys know, I buy these parts. These are not given to me. The reason why they don't wanna give it to me is because if I show the data and it didn't gain anything, it hurts their brand. I'm not here to hide shit, okay? All my tunes are on the dyno. You should question all your tuners. Why aren't you showing me live dynos? You're a huge company and you have dynos and you show us pictures of it. Show me the data. It's so annoying that other companies are not holding their self accountable. I'm here putting my money where my mouth is and showing you guys the true data. As you can see, from my intercooler and downpipe is where it's at. If you want a turbo intake pipe and hear those turbo noises, cool. Will you gain power? No, not on stock turbo. Some people fight me to the death, I don't care. Maybe you might gain 10 horsepower. Really, is it worth it? No, that thing is a pain in the butt to install. It's dumb, seriously. Now, with me on the contrary, are the turbo, are the turbo noises cool? Frick yeah, they are. I mean, it's loud. It sounds badass. I'll give it that. But as far as performance, mm, I don't see it there to really install the part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this journey on totally stock all the way to stage two on your Audi SQ5. And as always, stay BDT tuned.